Hello and welcome to the L to Play Holy Priest Guide. My name is Katie. In this guide, I will cover everything you need to know as a PvE Holy Priest healer in the Mista Pandaria expansion. While Disciplined Priests are great for reducing the amount of damage a raid takes, Holy Priests are ideal for raid-wide healing, but are also great tank healers too. The most important spells you'll be using are Prayer of Mending, Greater Heal, Prayer of Healing, Circle of Healing, Cascade, Holy Word Sanctuary, and Lightwell. Other spells you should have on your bars but won't use nearly as often are Chakra, Power Word Shield, Renew, Flash Heal, Divine Hymn, Purify, Mass Dispel, Mindbender, Hymn of Hope, Void Shift, Leap of Faith, Desperate Prayer, and Fade. Buffs you should keep active at all times include Power Word Fortitude, Inner Will or Inner Fire, Flask and Potion Buffs, Food Buffs, and make sure you keep Mana Restoration Drinks on you at all times in large quantities. Single Target Rotation If you are a designated tank healer, activate Chakra Serenity. This increases healing done by single target spells by 25% and refreshes your Renew on the target. It also transforms your Holy Word Chastise to Serenity, which is an instant heal for your current target and increases critical effect chance of your healing on that target for 25% for 6 seconds with a 15 second cooldown. You'll want to use Power Word Shield immediately upon a pull to negate some incoming damage for the tank. Use Holy Word Serenity and place Renew and Prayer of Mending on your target. I like to use Prayer of Mending whenever it's available. It's mana efficient and it's a powerful heal that will bounce to the target that has the least amount of health. Greater Heal is your primary heal. While it takes longer to cast than a flash heal, it uses the same amount of mana and heals for a larger amount. However, don't feel shy to use flash heal, regardless of people saying that it's a mana hog. With flash heal, you can trigger serendipity, which reduces cast time of your next greater heal or prayer of healing by 20%, and the mana cost is also reduced by 10%. Should your tank's health go down really quickly, use flash heal to stabilize them. Raiding Group Healing Raiding Group Healing is more challenging but also a lot more fun. It's all about timing your spells and knowing what to use and when. Make sure you're in the Chakra State Sanctuary. Your AoE healing is increased by 25%, reduces the cooldown of Circle of Healing by 2 seconds, and allows you to use Holy Word Sanctuary. Upon pulling, bubble the main tank to help reduce any shock of immediate incoming damage. Use Prayer of Mending on the tank as well. Next, lay down your Holy Word Sanctuary for either the melee or the caster group. Knowing fight strategies will help you know which group will take more damage and who will need the AoE heal of Sanctuary the most. Flash heal the tanks to assist in keeping them up, and use Prayer of Mending whenever it's available. Use Prayer of Healing for groups when at least 3 out of the 5 group members are at or below 75% health. Use Circle of Healing for groups where 3 out of 5 members are between 75 and 90% health. If the entire raid is taking large amount of damage, use your Cascade and drop your Light Wall. When the raid is taking overwhelming amounts of damage, use Hem of Hope. Keep practicing and you'll feel more comfortable knowing when to use each spell. You need to be quick in your decisions as literally someone's life is in your hands. Just be glad that if you aren't quick enough, this is a video game and you can bring them back from the dead. Void Tendrils Use this to root mobs that are attacking you or a group member that is in the tank. Body and Soul Increases movement speed on the target when you use Leap of Faith or Power Word Shield. Mindbender This is an absolute must for raiding. It increases the amount of mana returned from your Shadow Fiend. Desperate Prayer. This is your, oh shit, I'm about to die, emergency button. It heals you for 30% of your health. Divine Insight. This allows your prayer of mending to have a 40% chance to jump to a target without using a charge when you use Greater Heal or Prayer of Healing. Cascade. This launches a bolt at your target, healing them, then splits off into two more bolts and heals two other players, 
Then those two bolts split into four bolts and heals four other players. This lasts for three bolt splits. It cannot hit the same person twice, and the heals are more powerful as they split off. Glyphs. Glyph of Light Spring. Glyph of Light Spring transforms your light well into a spring where raid or party members are healed every second when they are lower than 50% health for a tad over 5 seconds. Damage done that equals to 30% of your health to players that have the hot will cancel the effect. The light spring lasts for 3 minutes or until 15 heals are expended. Glyph of Renew Your Renew will heal 33% more each time it heals, but the duration is reduced by 3 seconds. Glyph of Prayer of Mending First charge of Prayer of Mending heals for an additional 60%, but has one fewer charge. It's definitely worth it, since you tend to cast Prayer of Mending again before the last charge is used. Minor glyphs are simply cosmetic, so you can choose what you'd like here. Attributes Our main attributes are Intellect, which increases Spell Power and Spell Crit Spirit which increases out-of-combat mana regeneration, haste, decreases your spell casting time, critical rating increases our chance to score critical heal, and mastery, which is your direct heal spells, apply a hot that heals for an additional 16% over 6 seconds. Reforging. Haste and mastery are the most commonly sought after reforge attributes. Since the majority of our spells as holy priests are channeled, you need to hit a haste soft cap of 16.66% this expansion. Reforge your mastery and crit rating to haste. Since mastery gives us a hot effect on most of our spells, once haste soft cap is reached, reforge to mastery from haste and crit. Crit strike is what you should reforge to after haste and mastery. Gems. For blue sockets, you want to use Sparkling River's Heart. It gives you an additional 320 spirit. This is the best gem you can use for blue sockets. For red sockets, or for also another choice for blue, you can use a purified imperial amethyst. It gives you 80 to intellect and 160 to spirit. For yellow sockets, or also for a third choice for blue sockets, you can use Energize Wild Jade. It gives you 160 haste and 160 spirit. For Meta Sockets, you want to use Revitalizing Primal Diamond. It gives you 432 Spirit and 3% increased Critical Effect. Enchants For your main hand weapon, use Jade Spirit. Off hand weapon, Major Intellect. Shoulders, Greater Crane Wing Inscription. Hands, Greater Haste. Boots, Pandaren Step. Chest, Mighty Spirit, Bracers, Super Intellect, Legs, Greater Pearlescent Spell Thread, Back, Superior Intellect, Finger, if you're an Enchanter, Greater Intellect. That's it. That covers everything you need to know for PvE Holy Priest Healing in Mesa Pandaria. Should you have any further questions, leave me a comment below. Subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see from me next. Thanks for watching, and as always, good luck.